Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at a Linux distribution that I think is maybe the best distribution for people who are switching over from Windows 10 or are just new to Linux in general. Now, last couple weeks ago, I uploaded a video called the five things or five Linux distributions that are good for new users, and it was a absolute disservice that I did not include Linux Lite in that video. Linux Lite is a wonderful operating system and their whole purpose is to make it easier for the new user. Their tagline is the gateway operating system because they make everything so familiar and the things that aren't familiar they make so easy to access that it really is a gateway to Linux, absolutely. In the actual operating system here, you see the welcome screen that says welcome to Linux Lite. Now most people ignore this, but for new users, this is actually wonderful how they went about this. You have a little start here section and steps that you could go through to uh, update and optimize your system perfectly from the get-go. I have a couple videos on uh, Manjaro and Pop OS that go over some of the things that I think you should do when you start up your system. And it's just awesome how they incorporated that into the actual operating system right away to kind of jumpstart people into this. So for example, if I'm to click on one of these, it takes me to a page that gives me more details on exactly what I am doing. So install updates, install drivers. So for example, if I'm to click one of these, let's click on install drivers and it takes me to the additional drivers page on the software and updates section, which if you're not familiar with the ecosystem and kind of where things are, it may be difficult to find that. So it just helps out new users get to places that they normally wouldn't know where things are right away. Uh, closing out of this, we scroll down, we have a setting restore point. So that's done through time shift, which is all automatically installed and really easy to set up so if i hit set restore point it's going to ask me for my password type that in and it opens up time shift and you can go ahead and set all this up from there you have additional language support and if you keep scrolling down you have a little tutorial on uh, ui uefi and secure booting keep going down and you have a little select light or dark theme so allowing people to do this kind of shows hey you can go ahead and change things like this without going all the way deep into the settings so i just applied the dark theme if I go ahead and open up my file manager, you can see that it's the dark theme. And if I go ahead and switch back to light theme, it quickly changes everything back just like that. Now, let's say for example, I'm a new user and I want to go ahead and theme it even more. I wanna see what I can do. Now, usually I would go out and look up a tutorial on the internet or something like that, but they have done a wonderful job with their help manual. You can see here everything's super graphical, super intuitive. It's so easy to find things. Most operating systems do come with some sort of integrated manual, but it's usually in like a large PDF list and you have to go through everything and try to find what you're looking for and it really discourages people from reading through everything. And what makes this different is how it's set up. I would actually be interested in like clicking start here and going through and learning about the systems, the keyboard shortcuts and all of that. Uh, real quick, while it's in front of us, the preferred computer requirements is pretty low. It's 1.5 gigahertz with a gigaram and 20 gig hard drive with some just general integrated uh, graphics will suffice properly. And one of the reasons it's taking up so little system resources is because it's using the XFCE desktop environment, which is very lightweight. And of all the lightweight desktop environments, it's the most featureful, um, customizable. There's a lot you could do with it for such a light desktop environment. So going back to what I was theoretically looking for is the theming. So you scroll through here, you see it right here, themes, go ahead and click on that. And you have a really nice laid out uh, tutorial. So you hear it tells you exactly what to do, where to go. Everything in this help manual includes screenshots. So that's extremely helpful. So here it says to do this, you go to menu settings, setting manager, so you just go down here, menu, settings, and then settings manager, which would be down here, settings manager. And then that looks just like it did there. So we go into appearance, and then here we could go ahead and change some of our appearance settings. So if I click on this and so on and so forth, you go to icons, fonts, do all kinds of things. 
And the new user actually going through this manual and following everything will really get a grasp on where everything is and how everything works. So now going around and let's check out some of the general aesthetics. Now compared to Windows, it's everything's exactly where you'd expect it. Even on the desktop, they have the trash bin, this PC. So if I go to click on that, it takes me to the My Computer section. Well, that would be the equivalent on Windows. From here, you could go into your uh, home directory, your desktop. It's really easy to follow. Down here you have your system time, calendar, volume controls, everything you'd expect. Here is kind of cool. Um, on Linux, if you didn't know, most of them include a virtual desktop system. So you go ahead and switch in between your uh, virtual desktops just to better organize your workflow. Going over here, you have some pinned icons which look similar to how it works in Windows. And you can e edit, customize, change anything. Uh, one thing that's beautiful about this is if you right click on just about anything, it brings up a magnitude of different uh, commands, um, rename, delete, edits, uh, properties, just a, a ton of different things you go ahead and do. See embl emblems, you can go ahead and add an emblem, close that out, and even on the taskbar, if I right click on this, Go to properties. Well, that's the properties for the separator. Let's go right click here and then go to properties for the menu. You could go into just about anything. Uh, now, the actual applications included, it has the base of everything you need, but you're obviously going to want to go get all your own applications for what you do on your computer. But this is pretty self explanatory. It has your favorites, so you can go ahead and, like, for example, let's go into uh, accessories, right click on calculator. You could add that to your desktop, the panel, uh, edit the application, add it to your favorites. So if I click add to favorites, as soon as I open up my menu, my favorites are right there. Boom, calculator. It's wonderful. So going back into menu and let's check out some of the programs it comes with. Under settings, this is basically just the control, all the uh, tools available in the control panel that's easily um, accessible. Under accessories, you have the calculator, font, screenshot, text editors, everything you'd expect from there. It comes with GIMP pre-installed, which is nice. It also includes a paint program, which if I open that up here, you can see it's very similar to the uh, classic Microsoft Paint tool. So that is nice. Go back in here. Um, under internet, we have the web browser and a mail client. Both of them are Mozilla uh, packages. So you go ahead and get Chrome if you'd like to. Uh, multimedia comes with VLC, which is awesome. That will make it so you have no issues opening any type of media file formats. And then you have volume control, a CD burner. Under Office, you have some of the LibreOffice suites, PDF viewer, and then your system tools such as a, a task manager. So you open that up, and then you can see how your system's running in all the open tasks. So with this operating system, this is a good stepping stone into Linux because it includes all of the setup procedures, help manuals, and everything you need to get into it. It has an Ubuntu base, so there's unlimited possibilities what you can do with it and the support provided by the community and the desktop environment that it comes with xfce is so configurable and there's just so much you could do with it it's a great base to start on anybody can grab linux Lite, completely change it however you want it's not just for the new user but it is their primary mission to make that their goal to get people to switch to linux so you made it this far into the video. I ordered some of these little Linux Lite sticker emblems to put on my uh, laptop, but they had a minimum of three to order and shipping was kind of expensive. So I went ahead and ordered six of them and I'll be giving five of those six away to you guys. Just make sure you're subscribed. I'll have a comment pinned down below. Just reply to that comment as you see fit and I'll take the replies of that comment, randomize it and select five people to ship these out to. So. That about wraps that up. I hope you enjoy this. Please check out that five best Linux Linux distributions for new users video as this is great, but all of the distributions in that video are great as well. So have a wonderful day and goodbye.